Hey, so I've just completed some um, off-road uh, motocross and off-road training here at, um, at Dunn's uh, Motocross in the Scottish Borders. Um, absolutely fantastic day. Um, got up here early, um, headed in, had a briefing with Brian McKenzie, who's former um, former Scottish and British motocross champion. Really took him through what I was trying to do with my trip from Alaska, and he um, he sort of made a specialised sort of day, taking me around the motocross track. So started by just riding around on a bit of dirt track, um, seeing how I felt just on the bike. I was on a little Yamaha 250 motocross bike, um, a bit more of a kind of stock version though, because um, it needs to be road legal. Um, that was really, really good. And then he spent some time um, to teach me how to stand up and really use standing up on the bike, gripping with my knees, um, making sure I was in the right position, which was really, really helpful. How is it? How awesome. is your, your first 50 minutes of riding with nobles on the tires? Yeah, I know. It's, it's, uh, it takes a lot of trust to put in the tires to kind of take you around, but it's good. I'm getting more confident, I think. Dodging around some cones, some big rocks as well. Trying not to hit anyone else who's working here. <laughs> and you think we're going to uh, progress onto the the big track for later, later on in the afternoon? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. When I first got here, it looked a bit daunting, but I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. So let's see what we get to. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. And then we went out onto the motocross track and um, and sort of bombed around, um, did some jumps, did some low speed control, which I kind of struggled with at first. Um, fell off as you do um, but I think that was actually sort of the making of me a little bit once I'd done that it sort of got over my fear of falling off which was the main thing I was worried about um, I ended up um, getting a lot better slow speed control stuff and then went and moved on some bigger jumps and then finally did a whole lap of the uh, of the motocross track which I never imagined I'd be able to do at the start of the day I was really really apprehensive um, and then I've just um, I took the uh, the V-Strom with its road tyres onto the motocross track um, a little bit not not too many big jumps just to see how it felt um, and then I've just had to ride it up the most horrendous um, really gravelly road on a really steep incline to get out of the whole place so this is the horrendously steep, really gravelly road that I just, um, look at the state of it. I've just managed to get up on the bike after my training. Absolutely petrifying. I've really not done much off-road stuff before. And oh, bloody hell. That was really scary with road tyres as well. But I managed to make it to the top, so obviously the training that I got really helped. I'm absolutely shattered, absolutely worn out, uh, but it's been great. So hopefully this is going to stand me in good stead for my preparations um, and when I'm actually in Canada and Alaska, especially on the Dalton Highway, which as you know is um, is pretty uh, pretty poor road conditions and can be really gravelly and really off-road. So at least I've got some off-road experience now and we'll, uh, we'll see how I get on when I'm over there. But really fantastic morning with Brian. Can't thank him enough. Really patient um, teacher. Um, although I think it's helped a little bit that I've ridden a bike before because I think you take complete amateurs but um, nothing off-road since I was very young and only a teeny bit so it was great to get some guidance from um, someone with so much experience and hopefully help me in my time in Alaska so now I'm going to go um, go back down home and put some more miles on the bike so yep